Hey guys, I need help with the community. I'm very honest with you. I had this comment here from Steve, little use. It appears not many use this platform. He was very active the last couple of weeks. We have from time to time people coming in. And also if, if you buy any of my products, you also have always access to this community. But I made this community also free for everyone who is joining the DaVinci Resolve iPad community. So the big problem that I have and that I also observed. So two months ago, I created this community. It's on the same platform where I also have my courses so if you ever purchased anything like the starter kit the master class or final cut pro you have all of your products here but you can also always swap to the community and i only have now one community here with different channels there's a davinci resolve channel there's also a final cut pro channel and different things i created basically the playground to that a community can grow and the reason why i did this is because in the past in the last three years when i made videos about youtube uh, about DaVinci Resolve on YouTube, I also started a couple of free communities. Like I have a DaVinci Resolve iPad um, community on Facebook. I have a Final Cut Pro iPad community on Facebook. I started a Discord channel just for DaVinci Resolve. I started a Discord channel just for Final Cut Pro. And there's many more that I basically had to manage. And I'm still a one-man show. This whole YouTube channel, this whole DaVinci thing, I don't have a team or anything. It's, it's just me creating the videos. And my passion is making videos. Even if I don't do them daily anymore, I have now a schedule with two videos per week and everything. And I want to be just straight honest. What I observed in the Discord, in the Facebook, and even now here in that community, if I'm not active, all day and answer questions and answer questions same like here on the youtube channel like i get so many comments throughout my i created now over 400 videos and just if you don't know uh, because i i guess people who watch that video is also just a core audience i don't believe that a video like this will go viral and actually reach my 16,000 subscribers usually these kind of videos get maybe two three hundred views these are the two three hundred people who are always very active and i basically speak to my core uh, viewers um, I don't say that in a bad thing. It, it just proves the point that something like this is very hard. Like I, I have made all of these videos also in German. So I have another channel in German. I created these communities also in German. It was just too much. So this is why I created that. Um, like it took a week to create everything. There's even leaderboard and everything in it to and like to <coughs> to push more engagement to the community. The idea was to create something where you feel home, where it's not just about me answering questions about DaVinci Resolve. I know that when people come to my channel, they have questions about DaVinci Resolve. And I mean, for that, this is the reason why I created the products like the Starter Kit or the DaVinci Resolve iPad Masterclass and also made so many videos on YouTube. So basically, I'm repeating myself because the same questions come over. And I'm very honest, I don't want to be like... Um, I don't want to be like disrespectful. I know that when people have questions and I will always answer those questions when they come to my YouTube channel and someone asks a comment on my YouTube channel, but I don't want to do it on three or four different places every time, every time again. The idea was to create a community where the community becomes alive and it's not just about me. And maybe it doesn't work. Maybe it only works if I'm alive, but this is not why I make this video. I don't want to shut down the community at all. I don't want to like delete everything because I want to be honest with you. I, I'm not a very good community person. <laughs> I never was. I rarely answer messages. I'm like, I'm one of those people when WhatsApp started having communities and groups for three years when I was traveling in my camper van in Canada, I didn't have even had internet access. So I, I was completely out of that bubble of creating communities and now I don't even want to be in communities. Like my family has a community, like a group in WhatsApp. I'm not even part of that community because I don't want to have communities. Like it, it, I know it sounds very stupid. I'm good at starting them because I start a business and I know, hey, at the same time, why not just start a community where people actually can go and exchange. But the idea is always that we create something that, that it doesn't rely 100% on me. So why do I make this video? I don't want to delete this. And I need your help. I need help from people here in the community who want to step up and want to be part of that community, like admins or people who have ideas for the community to bring it to life. Maybe you even have knowledge about how to make a community alive because I don't really f focus much more in like, 
my energy goes into the videos and not really into the community and i just can't handle it like just to give you also a little bit more background when i did all my daily videos and i created two videos every day in 2023 and i reached 276 videos i have to be honest i was completely burned out and one thing i still struggle to this day and, and i'm not one to <coughs> blame the circumstances or the situations i know that's all also about me and how i do business and everything but i created so many videos and i give so much value and so much for free and even my products have so much stuff in it and i struggle that it never really took off and scaled like i have less sales than in the first year when i started doing all of it and this is like it it makes a toll on me i make less money than when i was actually just employed and this is very very hard for me but i'm full-time into this and trying to make it work and so i need help i need help with the community so if any one of you wants to reach out the best way maybe just join the community there is a messaging system you can actually message people right here's a chat system message me tag me Give me your ideas, what you want to create, like what could work with this community. Let me know how this could be revived and activated because I also don't want to spam my members with emails about updates and everything because some people signed up for the, for the course like three years ago and they learned all the stuff and they want to have emails in their inbox about the community. I get it. I get it. And anyway, I, I'm just rambling now this is important to me and i need help so maybe you can help see you in the next video i'm daniel bye bye